But you are just so fun to be around. Aw, thank you. I'm having the time of my life. I just want to thank you so it much. It was terrible. It was a terrible experience. So, Evan, my thing is, my thing is, that's what I was telling, I tell everybody, you know what? What God has for you, he has for you. What God has for me, it is for me. It doesn't matter if you're jealous or whatever. It ain't going to stop them from growing and no. getting away. What? I'll be your house. Now, if you felt some type of way. I don't care what kind of car you drive. You're not better than nobody. Why take my money? People are fake and phony. Why take my money? Why take my money? give you your gift that I brought you we hug each other everything is great and I'm like well where's everybody at I was excited to meet everybody because it was terrible it was a terrible experience so welcome back to River Queen Conjure and No Narc Network TV. I am the Oracle slash Badass Witch, Oshun Ajay, and today we're going to look at another, uh, actually a covert narcissist um, who has a YouTube channel by the name of Eat With Q and um, who is currently um, in a YouTube beef with one of the most popular mukbangers um, by the name of Miss B love okay from B loves life so the backstory is that um uh, basically you know B love has had her channel um for you know at least over over a year um she has over a million followers and Q um was like one of her um kind of like one of her protégés okay so she learned um you know her whole model of how she built her channel and her brand from B love okay from watching B love and and basically following her model um eat with Q began to gain a little bit of popularity and her um fan base uh, began to grow and her subs and all that began to grow and um, with that increase um, which happens with a lot of people and it doesn't matter whether it's an increase of money whether it's an increase of followers an increase of things um, the ego begins to inflate okay because uh, you know um, narcissistic people equate themselves with their things so the more value um, that they put on the things that they own the more value they put on themselves so basically the ego begins to grow and we all know no, um, you know, my my motto is that the ego will get you fucked up 100% of the time, okay? So basically, Be Love began to grow. She, um, she did what um, a lot of narcissists do. I've had it happen to me. Um, someone who I was teaching magic to um, began to think that she could do it better than I could and actually thought that she was going to get rid of me and slide off into my place, okay? Which is what kind of attracted me to this story uh, because I watch Be Love. I didn't really know Q like that. Um, I'm not really feeling her like that. Um, and I really don't appreciate, you know, because I, I know what that feels like to be trying to help someone and have good intentions toward that person. And that person the whole time um, is jealous of you, basically coveting what you have, coveting your life and lifestyle. And then again, they want to slide into your place and replace you with no regard to the fact that you tried to help them. You know what I'm saying? So, um basically with eat with q um she was being fake as hell through the whole interview um acting like she was so um starstruck and so honored to be in b-love's presence and then when um you know a few months actually i think about six months after she did the mukbang because by then her channel had grown she started to talk shit about b-love because she felt that she no longer needed b-love in order for her to grow so she was just going to throw her under the bus and try to roll right over her okay Check it out. It was a terrible experience. So let's back it up to six months ago where she was having such a terrible experience. Check it out. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, the house is beautiful. Oh, thank you. You are just so sweet. Thank <laughs> you so much. You're so welcome. You are the best. You're so mm -mm -mm -mm. welcome. So sweet. The family is so sweet, you guys. Oh. Everything you see is real. <clears throat> it's a hundred percent real. But you're fake as hell. <clears throat> it's a hundred percent real. You're fake. You're fake. You're fake. 
So, um, you know, as y'all can see, um, Eat With Q is a covert narcissist who is um, obviously projecting her own internal garbage on to Beloved, who she actually admires. But when a narcissist admires someone, um, they don't uh, appreciate you like um, a normal person when they admire you. They actually want to replace and be you. And um, deep down, they don't believe that you deserve anything that you have. And they feel entitled to take your place. Because, of course, they can do you better than you do you. Check it out. <clears throat> it was 100% real. Yes. You are just so fun to be around. Aw, thank you. I'm having the time of my life. It was a terrible experience. Time of my life. It was a terrible experience. Time of my life. It was a terrible experience. 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 So which is it? Yes. Please don't let this be the last Oh, time. girl. Let's take a laugh. You promise? You it. Girl, you know. <laughs> Oh my god. Hanging out with B <laughs> is like hanging out with your favorite aunt. Yeah. yeah hanging I'm out with your favorite <laughs> sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want y'all to notice how fake um, a covert narcissist can be. Uh, smiling all up in your face, laughing. Um, they're known for laying on all the extra fake ass compliments. And if you're intuitive, if you're discerning in any way, um, it's going to feel fake as hell and it's going to annoy the hell out of you. Okay. But for those who um, don't understand how these um, evil ass people operate, um, I want you to pay attention to how eat with Q is sucking all up to be love and then six months later she has a absolutely completely contradictory story okay and she's projecting again all her evil on to be love when in fact she is the one who's being fake as hell okay and I battled with it I battled with that experience for probably a month I'm back from B Love, you guys. B Love is absolutely, positively amazing. And I don't know who's faker, you or your husband. I'm, we're in the house for about 20, 30 minutes. And I'm like, well, where's your husband at? I'm excited to meet him or whatever. Husband's in the studio, didn't even come out, honey. Didn't even come out. I, well, I had to go into the studio and say hi to the husband. First of all, bitch, you were not there to see her husband. Her husband was not thinking about your ass. You were there to see B-Love, who was there. And don't forget, you was kissing her ass the whole damn time. So I want you guys to notice how um, fake and phony a covert narcissist will be. They're extra with the fakeness, okay? Kissing ass the whole time, the whole time hating covertly. And then, um, you know, acting so entitled as if the whole family should have been rushing to lay out the carpet for her fake ass okay huge fan of the youngest son she watched the youngest son followed him on instagram supported his music downloaded his music did all of that okay honey this child came downstairs he did he comes downstairs honey just made his grand entrance honey the queen the queen has come in and made his entrance okay and honey when i tell you walked in we was like hi hi nice to meet you this is exactly what he did yeah, he probably smelt your fake assness from a mile away. Hi, like, we was like, I can't, I unfollowed her immediately. Big love is absolutely, positively amazing. And everybody was laughing, having fun. I was sitting next to that person. Uh, other sister that has the channel and we were just talking and vibing and she and she was just so you know nice and I'm just like and I was why I don't know where this comes from. It comes from a place of pathological jealousy. Check it out. How big your house is. I don't care what kind of car you drive. You're not better than nobody. I worked hard to get where I'm at. No, you worked hard to try to become beloved. Jealous bitch. I've been doing this for a year. Yeah, it might be. I, I would be intimidated too. I would be intimidated too. I would be intimidated too. 
So like the classic covert narc that she is, um, in her mind, everything is a competition. Okay. Even though be love ain't thinking about her tired ass. Um, and in her mind, she, uh, intimidates be love when in fact, everyone can see that it's the other way around. See, let me explain to y'all the inner workings of the mind of a covert narc. Um, what happened was, and I'm going to tell y'all why this bitch is mad. Um, when B-Love earlier, okay, when B-Love talked about... Um, what God has for you is for you. And when people are jealous, they're not going to be able to knock you down off of your pedestal. Okay. At that point, um, this covert narc received a narcissistic injury. Okay. Because in her mind, B love was saying that because B she felt that B love knew about her, um, her true intention, which was to come on here and to gather as much information as she could about B love so that at a future time, she could throw that throw her under the bus this is a classic narcissistic tactic okay what they admire what they love they do not appreciate it what they want to do is replace it and become it okay this is why i call them body snatchers check it out my thing is my thing is that's what i was telling i tell everybody you know what what god has for you he has for you mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're jealous or whatever it ain't gonna stop them from growing and no. getting away how can you tell there was a narcissistic injury, you ask? Because Q came back six months later, singing the very words that B-Love had spoken that caused the injury. Check it out. What what God has for you, he has for you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're jealous or whatever. It ain't gonna stop them from growing. And no. getting like the classic narc she is, she took that shit personally and proceeded to act in classic narc behavior by starting her own smear campaign against Beloved. This is what you guys are witnessing as we speak. What God has for me, it is for me. See, you oh, guys gonna see it. You but, guys gonna see all of our uh, all of the Texas messages after the fact, and you can't say that. Oh, I was just trying to pull up an image, or I'm trying to make you. I didn't know what to say because I didn't know. I didn't want to look like.